And also in today's video, I have some Cinco de Mayo meal ideas for you. The first recipe will be a crock pot shredded salsa chicken with a homemade taco seasoning. Now this homemade taco seasoning was amazing. So what you will need for this is one tablespoon of chili powder, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes, a quarter teaspoon of dried oregano, one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of paprika, and one teaspoon of pepper. You are gonna throw those chicken thighs into the crock pot, sprinkle that good old homemade taco seasoning all over those chicken thighs, and then you're gonna lather it with salsa. Now, I know that in this video, I do have two salsa recipes from scratch, so you can absolutely use one of those salsa recipes from this video on top of that chicken. I'm sure it will come out amazing. But for this recipe or for this video, I did use jarred salsa. Now, if you want any more of the details on this crock pot shredded salsa chicken, then absolutely check out the details in the description box. I have it all there for you. I wanna say that if you are new, I would love for you to subscribe, hit that bell so that whenever I do post a video, you will know. And of course, give this video a big thumbs up. And I hope that in this video, I have supplied you with some ideas that you can do for Cinco de Mayo. The next recipe that we're going to be doing is called a Greek guacamole. Now I did switch this up a little bit so I will call this a guacamole with a twist. I did get this out of the Pioneer Woman's Cookbook. So the first thing that you're going to be doing is dicing up three large avocados. Now if you are not a pro at dicing avocado or even opening an avocado, what you do is you pretty much slice all the way around it and then once you pretty much twist it open, you smack that seed in the middle, smack it with a knife and you can take it out so easy. Then all you do is dice it, so you do a couple lines down, a couple lines across and scoop it out. That easy. The next step, that, step you're going to be doing is dicing up two Roma tomatoes. Once you get those two Roma tomatoes diced up, you're going to be dicing up a red onion, but only a quarter cup worth. So I just simply did a quarter of the red onion and diced that up. Now, this recipe did call for a quarter cup of finely chopped jarred roasted red peppers, but my grocery store did not have that item, and so I did just leave that item out. Now once you get that red onion cut up, you're then going to finely chop some Kalamata, I think that's how you say it, some Kalamata olives, quarter cup worth, and I'm gonna tell you this is the reason why I call this a guacamole with a twist, because those olives, I was kind of skeptical at first, but let me tell you, they added a very unique flavor to this guacamole and I absolutely recommend you giving it a try and I will say that moving forward whenever I do make homemade guacamole I will absolutely be using those olives. You're also going to be putting a quarter cup of chopped parsley into that guacamole. Then you will do three tablespoons of chopped dill. Now the seasonings that you will be putting in this are a quarter teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and then you will be putting the juice of one lemon. This guacamole was so amazing. My mom, who was over at the time, had even said that was the best guacamole that she had ever had, which was a huge compliment because I'm not the greatest cook, but I will say that that guacamole came out amazing. So definitely give it a try. that we will be doing in this video is the salsa verde. Now this recipe also comes from the Pioneer Woman cookbook and I will say that this was my first time making homemade salsa. I probably would recommend next time adjusting the seasoning but I will say overall the salsa did come out pretty good. So the first thing that you're going to be doing 
is you're going to be husking and quartering one and a half pounds of tomatillos. You then will be peeling and quartering one medium yellow onion. Then you will be stemming and quartering as well as partially seeding two jalapenos. Then you're going to stem and cut in half, I quartered them, three poblano peppers. Once you do that, you're going to put them on a pan, drizzle some olive oil on top, and then sprinkle some salt. Now, in this recipe, she did want you to have garlic cloves in which you put on this pan to put in the oven with the veggies. My grocery store, again, did not have this item, and so I did use minced garlic farther along in this recipe. So, again, you're going to put the items on a pan, drizzle with olive oil, sprinkle with salt, then place it in the oven, for 15 to 17 minutes. I need a girl that can ride with me. Wanna lock down and shine with me. Don't you know? You don't have to try with me. Gonna let go, yeah. I'm gonna let go, gonna keep you control. Yeah. Once that is complete, you're going to pull it out and let it cool for 20 minutes. After the veggies have pulled, you're going to place them in a food processor. Now, I simply just used a blender and it worked out fine for me. I'm not the one to try to dirty multiple dishes, so I did use my blender. In the recipe, she does recommend a food processor. Again, blender worked fine. So you're gonna throw those veggies in there. This is when I did place some minced garlic in that blender with the veggies. You're then going to add one cup of cilantro leaves as well as the juice from one lime. You're then going to blend it up until it is the consistency that you prefer. Adjust the seasoning to taste and voila, you have just made salsa verde homemade deliciousness. recipe that I will be showing in this video is the salsa roja. Now this salsa also did come from the Pioneer Woman cookbook and I'm gonna be 100% completely honest with you guys. My family and I were not a big fan. We thought it was pretty mediocre. We thought it was pretty bland. So I'm not really quite sure what I did wrong. Now I did substitute the dried chilies that she recommended for some poblano peppers because my store, again, did not have that item. So I'm pretty sure that is what altered the taste, but I just don't know if the chilies would have made up for just that blandness. I just, not sure. But if you are an avid salsa maker or if you make your own salsa at home, please comment down below and let me know your recipe or some of the ingredients that you use because I definitely did have fun making these homemade salsas and this is absolutely something that I would love to continue doing in the future. Now I will say as you're watching this, you will see me switch blenders and that is because the blender that I was using just was not working that great. It wasn't even blending the veggies and so I had to switch it out for my Ninja and that one, the older one, will be going absolutely to Goodwill. 
Eres el balance en este mundo poco humor Se volvió ese chico que hablo en mis canciones Esas madrugadas y hermosas conversaciones Se volvió ese chico que quería ver otra vez Now again, if you want any of the details on any of the recipes that I have included in this video, make sure you go down to the description box. All the details for everything will be included. So just go down below and there it is for you so that you can give any of these recipes a try for your Cinco de Mayo. Amigas diciendo que no ven que no ven. Esto se ha duratero Que sea algo sincero Que un perro no cambia Y eso es lo que es él Pero tú lo viste, mi amor Tú yeah. viste mi mejor versión Tú hiciste lo que nadie quería Si eres por para mis poesías Que toque tú solo sabes Si rico comparte maldades Pero sincero Solo sabes Momentos que siento reales Yo lo prefiero que en un largo tiempo Sea tu caballero Tú me ves como nadie más bebe Me diste alas para que vuele Pero motivos para quedarme Tú me ves como nadie más bebe Tú me curas cuando más me duele Sé que siempre has sabido amarme Se volvió ese chico que en mis canciones Esas madrugadas Y hermosas conversaciones Se volvió ese chico Que quería ver I hope that I gave everyone some meal ideas for their Cinco de Mayo on Wednesday. I hope that everyone enjoys their Cinco de Mayo and I hope everyone has fun. Um, I will say that if you are not subscribed, please consider doing so. I am always posting family friendly recipes on my channel. So if you're ever in need of a new recipe or you want to give something a try for your weekly night dinner, then definitely subscribe because I absolutely supply that for you. Make sure you hit that bell so that whenever we do post a video, you will know. We do have a fun video coming on Monday in which it will be a family challenge. So both of my kids will be included in that family challenge. And I'm just going to say that it was very fun. It was very entertaining. It was very funny. And it was very gross. So please make sure that bell is hit so that when we do post that family challenge on Monday, you will not miss out on all of that fun. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And again, I hope that you all enjoy your Cinco de Mayo. And I will see you guys on Thursday. Bye, guys. Sweet, so